Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to today's video. Today, I'm doing a solo ride. I'm actually gonna be doing a workout, the one that I, I didn't get to finish uh, last week. So I'll be doing that today, and it's going to be a nice gravel ride because it's a beautiful, gorgeous day out. Jason, unfortunately, has to work today, so I will be riding this solo. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm on the road now here. It looks like they uh, put a new layer of gravel of dirt on this road and this is what it's looking like. Ugh. It's so rough now. Not sure how I feel about this. So that road is Scattercook, and that's the uh, always the road that we start off from in the past few weeks that we've been riding outside on the gravel bike. And they must have put new layer of gravel on it because it is very bumpy, rocky, and loose. And so I'm hoping that Macedonia won't be as rocky and loose but we'll see when we get there uh, so that's just, that's where I'll be doing my four by eight workouts on is Macedonia and there's quite a bit of headwind now so can't get away from the headwind although I gotta say it is a lot warmer today than in previous weeks that we've ridden outside uh, even though there's some wind gust, I'm uh, still wearing a light layers today. And hopefully audio sounds better today. Although now the camera is, uh, every time I go over bumps, it tends to point downwards. So now I gotta figure out a, re a solution to that problem. First effort. So in less than a minute, I'm going to start my effort again. Eight minutes at threshold or not 100% FTP, but it's just a threshold. I think I have it set at 94% FTP. Ooh. Okay, 
Sorry if the camera starts to point downwards. Seven average power. <coughs> oh boy, I gotta turn around now. Catch my breath, go back down to the bottom, and do this again. Uh, yeah, the descending. I drop my power a lot in the descending, but nothing else I can do about it right now. It is what it is when you're doing these workouts outside. Okay. You know, you have to sacrifice some of that power on the descent. Oh. But the key is to just, for me, I think it's just to stay in that, try to hold as much, as long as I can, that threshold. You know, the more time. I spent in that zone, you know, the, the better I'll get. So, if this workout is supposed to intend to hit threshold, I'm just going to try to make sure I spend a lot of time at threshold. I got two down, two more to go. It's going to take me a little bit to get down to the bottom and then turn around and right back up again. The first part is usually pretty decent because there's not a lot of downhills. It's the, the second time around. That's more of a challenge to maintain a cadence about to start my third interval. I just saw a bunch of guys riding up as I was coming down here. So I'm going to turn around now and do my third interval. Ugh. Making U-turns is not my strength. Okay. Hopefully my legs will wake up. There we go. It's chilly coming down. Hopefully I'll warm up again.
Oh, that was 202 average power. Oh, God. Oh, all right, so I'm ready to do my last interval. Let's hopefully there's no descent uh, that'll affect my power. Here we go. so hard uh, yeah I only did I think let me check the last lap 197 uh, it's that left turn I think or that right turn I mean that I lost power on but okay all good oh ah uh, you know I had those negative the negative mindset crept, crept in and uh i just gotta realize that negative mindset will creep in on hard par hard parts of the workout because you know your brain's telling you you're in pain and you need to stop but sometimes it could trick you into thinking that you should stop uh the pain obviously that I'm feeling is from just not used to to that effort for that duration and so naturally it's telling me to stop but really I'm working on something else with my body and that's the aerobic endurance and sometimes in order to work on that you need to put it to work. If you're doing this in moderation and you're giving your body time to rest and recover afterwards and repair itself, then you'll see the improvements. And so that's really what I'm looking to do is not only should not only am i looking to hit my target power but 
spending time at Threshold will also get my body used to it. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the car now. I'm done with that workout. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Until next time, don't forget to enjoy your rides.